सो गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज जूनियर जुआलॉजी सो टॉपिक इज यूनिट सिक्स यूनिट सिक्स एल ए की क्वेश्चन लांग आंसर क्वेश्चन एल ए की क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन लांग आंसर क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन Describe the Plasmodium vivax life cycle in mosquito phase. Describe the describe the Plasmodium describe the Plasmodium vivax life cycle life cycle in mosquito phase. in mosquito phase r so the question is ask the one more method r explain the cycle of ras explain 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 the cycle of cycle of ras explain the cycle of ras r the question asked in three uh, three methods are there here describe the plasmodium vivax life cycle in sexual reproduction explain the sexual reproduction of plasmodium vivax explain the explain the sexual reproduction of sexual reproduction explain the sexual reproduction of plasmodium vivax so this is the question very important long answer question so generally in plasmodium vivax is the two stages are there one is the man phase and another is the mosquito phase are there so when man man in man phase the three stages are there pre erythrocytic cycle exo erythrocytic cycle and erythrocytic cycle the three stages are there so when the three third stage erythrocytic cycle or golgi cycle so when completed Uh, repeated golgi cycles are completed the man is weak and finally affect the malaria disease uh, later the parasite uh, does not develop it in human being body part human being body part so the parasite is further development to uh, it is a parasite is produced by two gametocytes so two gametocytes are there these two gametocytes is uh, further development takes place in mosquito what is uh, preferable are there why in human being body part to uh, ph and the temperature is not favorable not favorable so the parasite do not development takes place in our body and the parasite is convert the parasite is uh, change into the two gametocytes one is the micro gametocyte another is the macro gametocytes these two gametocytes uh, are present in our body peripheral blood vessels peripheral blood vessels are there peripheral blood vessels these two gametocytes further development takes place into mosquito body but how to reach in mosquito body how to reach in mosquito body so generally in a malaria patient so already when repeated golgi cycles are completed man suffering from the malaria are there so in a malaria patient in a malaria in a malaria patient in a malaria patient in a malaria patient malaria patient mosquito suck the blood mosquito mosquito suck the blood mosquito suck the blood 
mosquito suck the blood and uh, erythrocytic cycle stages erythrocytic cycle erythrocytic uh, erythrocytic cycle erythrocytic cycle stages erythrocytic cycle stages and uh, two gametocytes two gametocytes two gametocytes two gametocytes two gametocytes to reach into to reach to to reach into to reach into mosquito body to reach into mosquito body to reach into mosquito body erythrocytic cycle stages are digested erythrocytic cycle erythrocytic erythrocytic cycle erythrocytic cycle stages stages are digested are digested in mosquito crop wall in mosquito in mosquito crop wall in mosquito crop wall the remaining the two gametocytes produce the gamete the remaining the the remaining the remaining the remaining two gametocytes two gameto two gametocytes two gametocytes produce two gametocytes produce gametes gametes male male and female gametes male and female gametes male and female gametes so now some stages are there in uh, further steps are there in these two gametes are fertilization with there are there so in plasmodium vivax life cycle in mosquito phase the below the steps are there in plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax mosquito 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 phase mosquito phase so below the below the steps below below the steps are there below the steps so what is the steps are there what is the gametogony what is the gametogony 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 first step second step oh, that is called fertilization 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 or there third stage uh, fertilization formation of oocyte and oocyst formation of formation formation of oocyte oocyte formation of oocyte and oocyst oocyst and fourth step is the sporogony sporo sporogony and fifth step is the sporocyst sporo cyst are there so this is the uh, five steps are present in mosquito uh, mosquito phase so first step one by one i will explain to the with the diagrammatically so here diagrammatically i am explain are there first step the gametogony means what is the meaning of gametogony so the two gametocytes the two gametocytes can produce the gametes the two gametocytes produce the gametes is called gametogony so if, uh, this is the first two micro gametocyte so here i am start here are there this is the micro gametocyte so micro micro gametocyte micro gametocyte are there so micro gametocyte means it is also called male gametocyte it is also called male gametocyte micro gametocyte is also called male gametocyte male gameto male gametocyte male gametocyte this micro gametocyte the nucleus can divide 
the nucleus can divide the in my, micro gametocyte nucleus can divide yai daughter nuclei is produced through yai daughter nuclei is produced through this yai daughter nuclei is called applied pro nuclei one one two three four five six seven yai so yai daughter nucleus are there the yai daughter nucleus is called applied pro nuclei this is called applied pro nuclei pro nuclei pro nuclei so later each and every nucleus each and every nucleus can take the cytoplasm take the cytoplasm each and every nucleus each and every nucleus take the cytoplasm and form the uh, flagella like structures are there and from the flagella like structures are there from the flagella eight flagella like structures are formation the formation of the eight flagella like structures is called the the formation of male gametes is called x flagellation the formation of male gametes is called so x flagellation x flagellation are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so one more order here so yai to once again this is micro gametocyte the micro gametocyte nucleus can divide yai daughter pro nuclei are formation yai daughter pro nuclei formation each and every nucleus can take the cytoplasm each and every nucleus can take the cytoplasm and form the yai to flagella like structures are there that is called male gametes this is called male gametes are there these are called male gametes the formation of male gametes the formation of male gametes is called x flagellation the formation of male gametes is called x flagellation x flagellation so now this is the male gamete formation and um, here the female gamete so female gamete here this is called macro gametocyte the macro gametocyte this is the uh, macro gametocyte is also called macro gametocyte macro macro gametocyte macro gametocyte Micro gametocyte is also called female gametocyte. It is also called female female gametocyte. Female gameto female gametocyte. This macro gametocyte, the macro gametocyte, the nucleus can divide macro gametocyte and the female gamete is formation the female gamete is formation the female gamete macro gametocyte or female gamete mm, female mm, gametocyte is divide and the female gamete is formation female gamete the female gamete is formation later the female gamete mature the female gamete mature or there the female gamete mature and uh, anterior anterior part in anterior part a a cone like structure is formation a cone like structure is formation that is called fertilization cone that is called this is called fertilization fertilization the fertilization cone the fertilization cone are there and here nucleus this is called nucleus this is cytoplasm once again Macro gametocyte is also called female gametocyte. It is can divide and produce the female gamete. The female gamete further can divide, can mature is occur in the anterior side when cone-like structure is formation that is called fertilization cone. So now when uh, in this the the formation of male gamete. So here male gamete, here female gamete. The male gamete, female gametes are formation. That is called gametogony. That is called first step. The formation of male and female gametes is called gametogony. The formation of the formation of the first step. The formation of the formation of 
द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट्स इज कॉल्ड इज कॉल्ड इज कॉल्ड गैमिटो गनी इज कॉल्ड गैमिटो गैमिटो गनी सो नाउ दट इज द Year male gamete formation, year male gamete formation, year female gamete formation. The formation of male and female. The formation of male and female gametes is called gametogony. Next to second step is there. Second step is the fertilization. Fertilization. The fertilization. The how to fertilization the male gamete and female gamete. now in this uh, one male gamete now in this part one male gamete cut in the body in one male gamete cut off the body and go to the lashing moment and contact with the female gamete and contact with the your female gamete male gamete moves to the lashing moment and contact with the female gamete that is the your Uh, male gamete, female gamete fusion with there. That is called fertilization. This is male gamete. This is male gamete. This is called female gamete. This is called female gamete. So male gamete fusion with the female gamete. That is called fertilization. When the gametes are fusion, that is called sexual reproduction. Now the sexual reproduction is occur in mosquito body. in mosquito body are there but generally a sexual reproduction is occurring man body but the parasite the plasmodium vivax parasite can take the reproduction in two ways a sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction a sexual reproduction is present in human being body sexual reproduction is present in mosquito body so now here one male gamete cut off the body and lashing movement and freely moves to in the mosquito craft wall part and go to contact with the female gamete and these two gametes are dissimilar these two gametes are dissimilar that is called anisogamy anisogamy the here what happened here the male gamete nucleus and here female gamete nucleus can both are fusion with there that is called syncarion that is called syncarion so when male and female pro nucleus fusion with there so what that is called zygote formation so here zygote formation this is here so zygote this is the zygote formation of there after the fusion of the two gametes the fusion of two gametes the zygote is formation the zygote is formation this zygote is non motile non feeding non motile non feeding are there after 24 to 40 uh, 24 to 48 hours 24 to 48 hours is turns to the third stage that is called wukinid stage wuki wukinid stage it is changed to the wukinid stage so after 24 to 48 hours this is the 24 to 48 hours the zygote is converted to uh, uh, just a worm like structure a worm a worm like structure that is called vermicule or wukinid stage this is called vermicule vermi vermi vermicule or wukinid stage are there or wukinid wukinid stage are there vermicule or wukinid stage this stage vermicule or wukinid stage now settle down now settle down settle down mosquito crop wall uh, settle down mosquito crop wall are the vermicule or wukinid stage vermicule or wukinid stage are there so it is the mosquito crop wall this is the settle down in the mosquito crop wall it pierces the, the food material or it absorbs the food material from mosquito crop mosquito crop wall and this vermicule or wukinid it is suck the food material or pierces the food material and 
here below the mosquito crop wall around its body one cystic development around its body one cystic development or there one year cystic development one cystic development or there this the stage is called who cystic stage this stage is called who cystic stage sir ronald ras sir ronald ras was find out the uh, who cystic stages on mosquito crop wall nearly 5200 who cystic stages who cystic stages was identified in mosquito crop wall and got the nobel prize and got the nobel prize so later this oocyst stage and vermicinite and oocyst stage formation third stage that is called vermicinite uh, oocyst stage formation so next to fourth stage that is called sporogony 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 and fifth stage sporocyst sporocyst are there so now Uh, according to bano scientist say that according to bano scientist say that this oocyst uh, stage nucleus the oocyst stage nucleus can divide the oocyst stage nucleus can divide mitotically the oocyst stage nucleus can divide mitotically that is the mitotically nucleus can divide later cytoplasm is also divide Here, karyokinesis, cytokinesis are occurred or they occurred. So each and every nucleus, each and every nucleus, each and every nucleus can take the cytoplasm and form the new structures or they uh, form the new structure. So each and every nucleus, each and every nucleus, each and every nucleus can take the cytoplasm and form the new structure. the formation of the spore formation of the sporozoites inside the oocyst that is called sporogony fourth stage this is called sporogony sporogony there is a division of nucleus division of division of nucleus division of nucleus so the formation of now in this sporogony stages now in this sporogony stages sporogony stages the nucleus the the formation of sporozoites the sickle shaped structure the sickle shaped structures are there the sickle shaped structures the sporozoites are formation the sickle shaped structure that is called sporozoites are formation the formation of sporozoites inside the inside the oocyst uh, it this the inside the uh, oocyst stage the sporogony the development of the sporozoites the development of the sporozoites is called sporocyst so now this is called sporozoites it is called sporozoites the stage is called sporocyst or there so here the formation of the sporozoites inside the oocyst that is called sporogony later this oocyst later the cyst wall burst out the latter what happened cyst wall the year the cyst wall the cyst wall burst out or there the cyst wall burst out the cyst wall the cyst uh, wall the cyst the cyst wall burst out the cyst wall burst out many sporozoites sickle shaped structures are there many sporozoites are there so many sporozoites release into the mosquito blood material hemocyte sporozoites release into the sporozoites 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 release to sporozoites release into into hemocyte sporozoites release into the hemocyte later these sporozoites liberated into the salivary glands of mosquito later so these sporozoites reached into the mosquito saliva sporozoites 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 reached sporozoites reached into sporozoites reached into mosquito 
mosquito saliva and mosquito saliva mosquito saliva and settle down are there so this is the plasmodium vivax in mosquito face this is the plasmodium vivax mosquito face are there now pathogenicity pathogenicity so here pathogenicity uh, this is plasmodium vivax pathogenicity patho pathogenicity pathogeni pathogenicity pathogenicity plasmodium vivax uh, causes to the benign desian malaria plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax causes to causes to plasmodium vivax causes to causes causes to benign 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 desian benign desian malaria plasmodium vivax causes to benign desian malaria it causes to bout fever it causes to it uh, causes it causes it causes to it causes to bout bout fever it causes to bout fever so alternately the fever are present alternately fever are there so it includes so three stages are there it includes it includes it includes it, in, it includes three stages it includes three stages it includes three stages it includes three stages the first stage is the uh, first stage is the so generally first uh, one is the heart stage one is the heart stage or there so any one of the person malaria suffering from person so heart stage or there how it is the heart stage or there in heart stage the temperature increase the temperature increase or there so temperature temperature increase temperature increase up to 103 degree fahrenheit or 103 104 degree fahrenheit or there so pulse rate uh, pulse rate pulse rate increase <coughs> pulse rate increase or there and body pains body body pains or there body pains when the poison is released that is called hemojoint poison is released or there the in malaria patient what happened the temperature increased or there pulse rate increased or heart beat rate increased or breath rate increased or and the body 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 pains is occur body pains is occur when the concentration when the poison concentration decreases when the poison concentration decreases or there so uh, body sweating is occur that is called sweating stage uh, uh, poison concentration sweating stage poison concentration decreases or there and temperature decreases then body sweating is occur body sweating is occur temperature randomly decreases or there and third stage that is called cold stage uh, cold stage when temperature randomly decreases or there body is very cool so um, chills and shivering is occur chills and shivering is occur in in body or again this disease can third day again repeated again the third day this disease again repeated or there so prophylaxis are there so prophylaxis are control measures so, prophylaxis so prophylaxis means so prevention is better than cure but they, when you but do not attack malaria in your body so which type of pro, 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 uh, prophylaxis or control measures should our maintenance are there so here the some prophylaxis are there so when you are um, uh, uh, where you are the cleaning of your locality your area the drainage system are cleaning 
or you are um, can inform to the municipalities your drainage system or cleaning or there where the water can stagnate or there the water can remove or there so why the mosquitoes uh, mosquitoes uh, lay the eggs on water part so uh, there is no water stagnate in in uh, in your surrounding area or there and the spray the ph3 spray the ph3 benzene exact chloride or there bhc ddt bhc ddt to spray or there when you spray the bhc ddt the mosquitoes x can die or there or pyrethrum or kerosene to spray on the uh, where the water can stagnate or there are drainage part these are the pyrethrum kerosene can spring or there and uh, where you are sleeping or there the use the net like uh, net uh, net net use or there you are where use the sleeping or there on the time net use or there mosquitoes do not entry in your where you are sleeping area part or there and to uh, jet so all out so piles so jet so all out so jet so all out so and piles use or there jet so all out so piles are use or there so these are the Mm, where you are this type of control measures should you have main, maintain or there the malaria disease cannot attack in your body so these are the total eight marks question this is a very important to discuss plasmodium vivax the mosquito face plasmodium vivax mosquito face compulsory should draw the diagram so diagram uh, three marks and matter five marks are there so based on the diagrammatically you should you draw the total diagram after completion of the diagram you can to write the uh, pathogenicity uh, malaria causes to the disease them and the symptoms and uh, heart stage fatigue stage cold stage symptoms and prophylaxis should write okay right best of luck